when my dear students are class 10 a and 10 b topic the moderates lesson number 3 the moderates point first point introduction in my introduction i would like to say that the army nationalists who have called the army nationalists basically bengali intellectuals who received western education and had faith on British justice fair play. They had faith on British sense of uh, responsibility. And uh, of course, they thought that British rule was good for them and for their all-round development. This group of people decided to, uh, you know, receive Western education in the interest of themselves. Because they believe that Indian culture, Indian education was not as superior as the Britishers. That's why they had to learn so many things from the Britishers. That's why they should have a fair belief and respect for the British. This group of people uh, decided to organize uh, their own, you know, uh, education, their own movement in their own technique, own methods. And what technique, what method they followed, I'm going to discuss. What is early nationalists? Who are known as are the early nationalists? The early nationalists were, as I mentioned earlier, uh, highly qualified people of India who decided to protect the interest of the Indians in a legitimate way. They realized that the British rule was good for them. On the other hand, it was not uh, good for them. It was not, uh, uh, you know, it was not so good for them. Why? Because they wanted to uh, make their country uh, rich and prosperous. They realized that the British did not uh, leave. The British didn't leave any scope so that Indians could earn money independently since they came under British control. The British started ruling our country. That's why Indians had no way, Indians had no scope to earn money as for their own choices. The Britishers had been draining Indian wealth to their own country for their for the prosperity of their industry, for the prosperity of their all of development, for the prosperity of their uh, social, educational, uh, political and cultural sites. That's why they, uh, you know, they, it would be better for the Indians to safeguard their own interests by the help of the British. If they would assist British, the British in, uh, in return for it uh, in the long run who protect the interests of the Indians. So in the interest of themselves, they should be loyal to the Britishers. This group of people uh, were known as the early nationalists. The sense of nationality, national awakenings, national awareness, first formed in their minds because of that, time, because of the reason they received Western education and while learning, while receive, while learning unknown things, unknown history of India, while learning the miserable conditions of the Indians under the British rule, while learning the past history of India, they are inspired by the ideals of the previous rulers, India social reformers who dedicated their lives for the rural, for the noble cause of countries and uh, independence. But what they actually came to a conclusion was they realized that they should form one you know, organization. They should make one organization by means of their own efforts so that they could, uh, uh, you know, work independently and individually. As a result, Dada Bhai Nauruji, one army nationalist, he established his own political organization. 
So Shivanjunar currently establishes his own political organization. Similarly, Gopal Krishna Mukhe also established his own political organization. So the, the, the number of political organizations which were set up by these three leaders, the early nationalists, Dadabhai Dawadji, Shivanjana Kanadji and Gopal Krishna Gokhel, they have no unity. Neither they have any unity nor they have any, you know, uh, expectation. What did they expect? They expected, they expected the Britishers to be their well wisher. But they also, uh, you know, uh, decided not to antagonize the Britishers, not to, you know, uh, criticize the British government. But criticism must be done. But in a legitimate way, in a constructive way. In mind wise, why mind languages, so that the British must understand that this group of people, the early nationalists, have faith on them, and these highly qualified people should be given more and more chance. That's why, my dear students, these early nationalist groups uh, realized that the independence for country would be not a matter of joke. It would take time, this time continuing. So, what we should do, we should have a respect for the Britishers, we should have faith and belief for the British government, so that the British in the long run must accept their demands, and demands should be produced in a legitimate way, in mind language, so that the British must come to know that this, uh, you know, educated middle class people have respect for them, and so their demands should be <coughs> accepted. So these were the thinking and ideas of the early nationalists. Next point, their demands and methods. What kind of demands, what kind of methods they had adapted. The early nationalists adapted uh, what kind of method, met the method of prayer, petition and protest. Prayer, petition and protest. That means they would pray, uh, they would pray for country's freedom, they would pray for uh, individual's freedom, they would pray for uh, fair justice play of the Britishers. This is praying. Pray, prayer, and prayer and petition, that means they will write, they will, they will, uh, uh, they will send, they will submit one petition in written form. If they would, if they would face any problem, any difficulty, they would write it to British government so that the British must accept their demand. The British must, uh, you know, the British must take immediate action and precautionary measure so that uh, the Indians uh, must be given proper judgment. That's why uh, the, sometimes whenever they would face any problem, they write, they send their petition, they submit one petition according to which the British would turn. The British would uh, take stern action against it. And this is the method prayer, petition, and protest. This is prayer, this, this is petition, and this is uh, protest. Protest means the British government sometimes would uh, pass uh, unjust, uh, unjust laws. Unjust laws uh, not favored Indian interests. It always went against the interests of the Indians. That's why, being Indians, they decided to uh, criticize, they decided to protest, but in a legitimate way, in a constructive way, so that the British must understand that uh, uh, people of India who had faith on them, they were not trying to antagonize the British government. And next point, British rule and intellectuals. The British, you know, started ruling our country, almost all states of India captured under, came under their control, they captured it. At the same time, they, you know, utilize Indian natural resources. They started utilizing Indian monetary power. They misguided Indians. Number of Indian uh, highly qualified intellectuals were appointed in the British job, but they were paid less salary. There was a vast difference. Different, there was a vast difference between the salaries of the Europeans or uh, Britishers or Indians. So a group of Indian people. They realized that although they received Western education, 
European culture, the technique, method, whatever they have gained as a member of European club or night club or as you know a, a member of a respectable a rich family of Kolkata, this group of people, this young generation decided to make friendship with the Britishers and they somehow managed their drawbacks and they started earning a lot of money and uh, in, a lot of money by making friendship, healthy relations with the Britishers. And the Britishers, the British people also knew that uh, some Indian educated people, they were trying to make their future, make their own uh, background strong. That's why the Britishers also decided to utilize them. So a, a very, very large number of Indian educated people or a very large number of Indian people who had no, who had not received education, who had not gained any knowledge, but who had gained, who had got huge money uh, after their father or father in laws death. Then they decided to utilize money so that they had the agency of earning money. So, the chapter during their life, whatever they started, during their first chapter, they protested against the policies of the British government and during the law, during the middle, middle phase of their life, they tried to make a number of political organizations, you know, rather by Nauruji, uh, openly criticized the British government in the British parliament by raising his voice that uh, what the Britishers were practicing in India was against the Indians, it was not good for the mankind, it was against the, you know, human, uh, uh, human development, it was against the human development and uh, it was just nothing but racial discrimination. So, a number of, number of British parliamentarians, a number of uh, members of the British parliament, they came to know about the British conditions of India, so the British government uh, decided to bring certain uh, changes in the entire system of administration and after this.